Da da da. Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be going over how to shut down the QB sneak in Madden 22. Now, I know it's late in the year, but people are still having issues with certain stuff like this. So, if you guys are one of those people that are having issues with little things, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll make a video out of it. Won't be long. Won't be too short. It'll be thoroughly explained. But today. We're going to be going over how to shut down the goal line QB sneak. Also, this is going to double as like a double as like a shutdown for like other run plays and stuff like that, because this does work for other run plays. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new, subscribe, like the video, comment down below. We're not going to make this too long of a video. We're just going to be going over the QB sneak that gets spammed most of the time by your average players at the goal line, because it's definitely very, very frustrating to, you know, just have somebody pretty much sneak it in four times in a row and then end up getting a touchdown now qb sneak is the play and let me just substitute my guy back in we are going to go ahead and come out of out of the goal line six two and we're going to come out of out of the 60 out jacks i know i, I know, i've never called these plays like out loud before so that's going to be the play and what you're going to want to do is shift your d line to the strong side of the pretty much where the extra tight end is so if you take this tight end bringing out the trusty red arrow this is the extra tight end that turns it this side the right side into the strong side it's this guy's fault so we're going to shift our d-line towards that side that's what the play is going to look like and then we're going to take our user and we're going to man him up on the running back and then you're going to contain now, you see how that guy is kind of crashing towards that left side? Well, this is going to be the result. You're going to pretty much stuff stuff that goal line sneak every single time, pretty much, if they're, if they're sneaking towards your side. Now, what if they – obviously, people like to flip it. They like to, do the little, they like to do the little thing where they flip it to the other way. Uh, let me see if I flip it the right way. They flip it to the opposite side, and then they call a hike. Our defense isn't going to change if that happens. We're going to do the same thing. It's going to stay the exact same because we're still expecting that same QB sneak. Same thing. One second. That time my, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have my user ready. So we're going to do the same thing. Blah, blah, blah. Shift this guy over. I never manned up my guy. I don't, I don't believe. And then we're going to keep our guy right here, right in the hook. And then they're going to sit there and do their thing. They're going to flip the play. So that their 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 thing goes and then as you can see gets absolutely shut down your guy is still using the running back mind you now this time we're actually going to fl flip it and then we're going to sneak the the opposite way and same results going to happen same thing's going to happen but they're they're sneaking towards that opposite side now they call hike same exact thing's going to happen and you're going to be able to stuff them towards that left side now one thing that you guys can do to kind of help is if they do if they are running towards that left side, crash towards the left side. Um, it kind of creates like its own little crash, I guess. I, I don't know how to explain it. But you always want to have your user and man him up towards the running back, whichever gap you're in. Honestly, you can even take this guy and man him up against the user as well. Because we're not actually looking to stop the pass here. We're pursuing the run, and we're going to flip the play here. And as you can see... That happens all the time when you do this. He didn't score there. I don't know why this isn't deemed a touchdown, but he didn't score here. Maybe it's because his knee already touched the ground before he passed the line of scrimmage, but I, he, he doesn't score here. And mind you, we are literally as close as possible, and that happens all the time once this happens. We're going to do it again. We're going to man up the two linebackers against the running back, and now we're crashing to, to the left, and he's going to the left same exact situation he's being touched before before he's able to actually cross the plane which leaves us which leaves him thinking man i was so close let me run that over let, let me run that back again let me run that back again let me run that back again but if he runs it towards that same side where you're at he's going to get stuffed immediately and as you can see that time we ended up getting a nice fumble and potentially completely shutting down uh, a potential touchdown right there because this is as close as it gets. And this is how I'm going to end off the play here. This is as close. This is how I'm going to end off the video. This is as close. I move the ball up 
literally as close as I possibly can at the beginning of this video. As you can see, the, the tip of the ball is pretty much almost on the goal line. And even still, they're not, they have zero shot at getting this, uh, at pretty much stopping this uh, from stopping them pretty much. So again, one thing that you guys can do to kind of help you yourselves out when it comes to actually guarding other runs is spreading your linebackers, but you still kind of want that that guy manned up on that on that running back because it'll kind of create that little that little gap pressure. Now, if he runs to the right side, he's he's never going to get it. But that left side, obviously, your guy's not in in there, but you also don't want to risk getting hit with uh with some form of a toss because right now everything is kind of even. Uh, the right side has a, a couple a couple extra bodies on it just in case. So you guys can also spread your linebackers to help you guys out in in this uh in this specific in the specific stopping of the goal line plays, the goal line runs. It, it's just gonna help you guys out tremendously. I promise, I promise you will not especially if they're sneaking it to, towards your side, you are not gonna be the one to give up a touchdown. I promise. Hopefully this tip video helps you guys out that are struggling stopping anyone running QB sneak. My name is Pony Montana, and as always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.